one of the things that they are doing is hiring experts like myself, but also trying to make sure that they develop a very comprehensive internal process so that as developers come in, they know what to expect as well. Additionally, we are looking at every type of ratepayer protection, um, as well as benchmarking with our peers. IID is a member of two very large trade associations, the American Public Power Association and the Large Public Power Council, both of which who are really doing a lot of benchmarking with each other. Utilities, because we are regulated, monopolies have the ability to share a lot of information, and we do not have to be highly competitive the way that um, most, frankly, other industries are. So this is a really nice thing about electric utilities is that we do get to share lessons learned. So moving on to the way that data centers and utilities interact with one another. There are a number of challenges that we are seeing across the nation, and they're certainly not going to be foreign challenges um, for IID in terms of you know, them vis-a-vis -vis other utilities. But we'll just start off with the very simple one, which is the demand on the grid. So you just heard from Paul how much power uh, data centers use just in a simple hull. And they have many hulls within one building. So usually what we see is um, a data center traditionally will use somewhere between 75 and 150 megawatts per building and data center campuses um, can range in size. So that's where you start to see these requests being very, very disparate in terms of their sizes. And it really depends on what the use case is, what they're planning on doing in that data center, um, and, and that really kind of indicates the type of load that you'll see. So the demand on the grid is the first one, right? We know that because they're pulling a lot more power, it means that they're putting excess pressure on the transmission system, on the generating resources. Um, and frankly, on something we like to call power quality, which is the voltage of the system. One of the things that balancing authorities do is they make sure that supply and demand are constantly balanced. If they are not, then it causes something called voltage um, inconsistency. And so what we have to do is make sure that we're always staying within a specific voltage range, and that's one of the things that data centers can make a little bit challenging for utilities. 